गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ लॉन्गेस्ट कॉमन प्रिफिक्स प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर थ्री जीरो फोर थ्री एंड अ प्री रिक्वेजिट बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस इज टू वॉच माई वीडियो ऑन बेसिक्स ऑफ ट्राई हाउ टू बिल्ड अ ट्राई एंड वॉट आर द यूज केसेज ऑफ ट्राई विद ऑल द इंसर्ट डिलीट एंड अपडेट ऑपरेशन सो प्लीज़ वॉच दैट द लिंक विल बी इन द आई बटन एंड ऑल्सो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो Now let's look at the problem statement. In this problem, you are given two arrays with positive integers array one and array two. A prefix of a positive integer is an integer formed by one or more of its digits starting from its leftmost digit. For example, one twenty three is a prefix of the integer one two three four five. While two three four is not a prefix, it is just a substring. Okay. So if you have a number, let's say one two three, then its prefixes can be one. One two and one two three. So for any string of length order of n, its prefixes will be an n number of prefixes. Okay. So if the string length is n, then you will have n number of prefixes right from size one to size n. Right. A common prefix of two integers a and b is an integer c such that c is a prefix of both a and b. Right. So for example, if you look at this example, five six five five. Three five nine, and uh, if you write the other number five six five five four, then uh, what is the prefix length which is common to both of them? If you keep matching one item after another, then you will see five is matching with five, six matching with six, five matching with five, this five is matching with this five, but this three is not matching with this four. So this is the common prefix which is five six double five, and it is of length equals to four. Okay. Now in the next part of the example set, you can see the, uh, we are given one two two three, and the another example is four three four five six. So if you start matching and finding the common prefix, then the first number itself is not matching from uh, left to right. Then in this case, the prefix length will be equals to zero. Fine. so they do not have any common prefix now we need to find the length of the longest common prefix between all the pairs of integers x comma y such that x will belong to the first array and y will belong to the second array so return the length of the longest common prefix among all the pairs if no common prefix exists then we need need to return zero for that so if you look at example number 1 here uh, if you match every item of array 1 with every other item of array 2 then what is the common prefix uh, between 1 and 1000 it will be equals to 1 so the length is 1 only because the common prefix is 1 if you match the second item with this item 1000 then the length of the common prefix will be 2 where 10 is matching uh, when we go from left to right matching if you match this 100 with 1000 then the length will become 3 Where one double zero from the beginning matches in both the strings, right? So out of all these, which length is the longest? Three. Therefore, the answer should be three in this case. I hope you have understood the problem statement and the example. Let me give you another example from my side. So let's say you have an array one with three items and an array two with three items. Array one is of length order of n, let's say, and odd array two is of the length of order of m. right so in this case in order to find the length of the longest common prefix you can match every item of array 2 with every other item in array 1 so what we can do is we can match 43 with 243 and find out the length of prefix in this case no prefix because the first item 2 is not matching with the first item 4 so the prefix is empty here you can match 43 with 123 and again an empty uh, prefix set you can match 43 with uh, 23 and again nothing is common in the prefix part again you can repeat the process for every other string in array 2 for 230 if you match it with 243 there will be no common prefix 230 matched with 123 there will be no common prefix 230 matched with 23 you will have common prefix of 23 uh for both the strings okay now when you take the last number 2437 match it with 243 and the common prefix will be 243 again you match it with 123 and there will be nothing in common because the first item itself is not matching and again when you match this uh 2437 with 23 you have a common prefix of 2 okay because the 3 is not matching with this 4 so uh the prefix length will be 2 now in this case out of all the common prefixes which prefix length is the longest so you have a bunch of zero lengths then you have two length you have three length and you have one length 
So out of all these three length is the longest. Therefore, the longest common prefix answer is three, which is for 243, right? Now, this is the simplest approach. And in this case, if you match all the pair of items, then the approach becomes order of n times m, uh, where n is the size of array one, m is the size of array two. Now, will this technique work? Now, if you look at the constraint section, uh, then it already mentions about uh, the array lengths being 5 into 10 to the power of 4 for both of them. And therefore, if you uh, just take an n times m approach, they both can assume their maximum value and it will be 25 times of 10 to the power of 8, which will be 2.5 times of 10 to the power of 9, which is greater than 10 to the power of 8. And we assume that 10 to the power 8 is a standard for one second. So this technique will not work. The order of NM technique will not work within one second and you will get a TLE. So we need a better approach. Okay. So for the better approach, what we can do is if we can insert all the numbers of array one into a try and we can search each and every item of array two in the try and see the prefix matching, right? Then we can uh, confirm what will be the longest common prefix. We can also find the string as well. So I hope you have studied uh, my video on basics of try as well as try implementation. So I will show you a dry run using the try. A try is also called as a prefix tree. So it is a typical try problem actually. Just to recap the try node structure will be uh, just containing an array of pointers which will be from 0 to 9. And uh, if you are at a current node and uh, uh, let's say the current node's value was equals to 1. That means uh, your prefix is 1 currently. And if the next item has to be, let's say 12, then this array of pointer will be pointing to a new node whose value will be equals to two. So this is how we build a try actually, right? So this is just a recap. Now I will not be making this detailed array of pointers. Instead, I will just be uh, looking at this uh, 243 and I will try to insert. So this is the root of the try. Okay, and let's insert 243. So if you insert 243, uh, then simply I will have uh, this two pointer activated and so I will be storing two and then after two I will be storing a four and then I will be storing a three so this is 243 getting inserted after that I have to insert 123 so one is another pointer 1 20 and 3 so this will be my insertion okay again if I have to insert 23 then there is already a pointer to 2 and I can just generate a pointer to 3 because it is not present and so 23 is also inserted so this will be the try structure okay uh, built from array 1 right so we have inserted all the items of array 1 into the try we don't need a word end counter uh, because that is not required in the problem now for every element of array 2 I will try to find out what is the maximum length of match so if I had not used try, then I will be going to each and every item of array one and finding out the common prefix. But in the try, all the matches can happen together. Okay, so let's match it. So I want to match 43. So the first item is four. But from the root node, do I have a pointer to four? So this is the pointer to three. This is the pointer to four, let's say. So the pointer to four is empty and therefore there is no child. And if there is no child, that means there is no number starting with four. Therefore, uh, the prefix length will be zero in this case. Now for 230, we will again start at the root node and we will see uh, can two match. So if there is a pointer to two, yes, then two is matching. So I will go to this two and I will go to the next character, which is three. So is there a pointer to three? Yes. So, so three is matching. So now I will go to the next character, which is zero. Now from three, is there a pointer to zero? So there is no pointer uh, from three. So definitely no pointer to zero. So this is the longest match which we had. And so the longest match in this case is of length two. And since I'm trying to maximize it, so I will take an LCP variable, which is longest common prefix, and I will assign it a value, which is minimum value zero. And now we have got a length two, so I will update it to two. Now I will start matching the third number. Again, uh, start at the root node and match two. So there is a pointer to two. Next number is four. So yes, there is a pointer to four. Next number is three. So yes, there is a pointer to three. Next number is seven. So there is no pointer to any of the numbers. Therefore, it, there will be no pointer to seven. So what is the maximum length that we matched? We matched three uh, characters, right? So that is why uh, we will try to maximize LCP and update it to three. And we have matched all the uh, numbers of array two with all possible numbers of array one. 
in linear time okay so each of the searches each of the string searches is linear time so this is how we can solve using a try approach now for the time complexity we know that each of the numbers getting inserted is linear time so if you had n numbers and each of the length will be very small so this will be order of n and similarly for array 2 the time complexity of search will be constant for each of the number so i will take order of m therefore the time complexity will be n plus m where n was taken to build the try from all the elements of array 1 and m is the time for searching all the numbers of array 2 in the try which was built using all the elements of array 1 right and the space complexity will be a, a order of n because the try was built to store all the numbers of uh, array 1 right so that is why we will take it as order of n now let's look at the code. I would like to announce about our live training programs, data structures and algorithms, which is interview dose and system design, which is design dose. If you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company, this is the best curriculum you can ever join. I'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and I will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions. You can know more about this by querying us on the WhatsApp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in. This is the code for the longest common prefix. Here I have defined a tri node structure where you have 10 child pointers and then this is the constructor where I am defining all the child pointers to be null initially so that we don't assume any garbage value. Now this is the main function of the longest common prefix where I will define the root of the try even before inserting any node so the root of the try i will be assuming it to be a slash then uh, we will insert all the numbers from array one by converting every number into its string format by using the two string function and then uh, inserting it into the try and once all the numbers of array one have been inserted i will then take a maximum length variable which was the lcp variable in our example and i will be uh, comparing each element of array two with the try built from all the elements of array one and so the current uh, variable actually mentions what is the current item i am looking at from the array two and then i will do a try match and i will keep maximizing the maximum length and finally return the maximum length so the try insert function is the same as i had already explained in my previous video on basics of try so uh, you see that a string will be present and i will be simply inserting it, it this was already explained so i would recommend you to watch that video as well and now in the try match function we will be given the number in the form of string and this current will be starting with the root node exactly and then we will be finding the match of the common prefix length and return it in the counter variable okay so if we keep a track of all this then we will get the longest common prefix so this is the entire solution and i hope you were able to understand it if you have any problem then do comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you